how are our minds limiting us? Actually, I think our minds are limiting us completely. All the limits that you think you have in your life. So there's physical limits. Uh, you think you're not able to do certain things physically. And then there's also all the other limits. Like uh, you think you're not creative or you think you're not able to uh, live from your passion or have your passion, you know, and become better and change. Those are all limits in the mind. And it's crazy how we just limit ourselves just like, <laughs> just with our minds. I noticed that yesterday I was, uh, I'm talking, I, I'm talking a lot about my job, but there's, there's reasons, there's good reasons. And so, um, in my job, it's like overwhelming how much I have like stuff and obstacles to overcome. So, uh, I work as a waiter and, uh, and I still have a little bit of anxiety and shaky hands. And so I'm completely out of my comfort zone because I have to lift stuff, you know, or, um, pick up stuff in the kitchen and bring it to the customers. And there's tea, there's coffees that are like this, there's like, and when I'm stressed, my hands are shaky. And uh, so it's like there's so many reasons why I fear this situation. And I've noticed that, uh, how, how, can I, how can I organize my thoughts? I've noticed that my mind thinks that I'm not able to do that job. And what I notice is at the beginning of a shift, I'm always very scared, very tense, and my hands are shaky, for example, it's terrible. And I feel like really tension in myself and a shift lasts between six, nine hours or something. It depends. And generally like after a few hours, it's like my, my, my shake, uh, my shaky hands or my, um, my shivering is almost completely gone. I'm like, because I have broke, I have broken through my fears and just pushed myself because I have, it's like, it's the job. I have no choice. It's not like I'm brave or something. I have to do it to do the job. And I've noticed that then I don't feel the tension anymore. And I don't even have like the physical symptom that comes also by, for me from social anxiety. I like, I don't have the shaky hands anymore. And so I thought the only reason why I have shaky hands and I am scared is because of what happens in my mind. And when I'm actually confronted to the situation enough, my mind just gets it. There's nothing, there's no danger. And, um, and boom, like, like all, all the, almost all the fear is gone. And, uh, even like the physical symptoms of the fear are gone too. And this is really nice. And I've noticed that it's very funny because it's probably something that's deeply rooted in myself because at every beginning of shift, I'm still scared, but at every end of shift, I'm not scared anymore. So it's like, it's like people who do pick up and pick up like, and talk to women, approach women on the street. I feel like that. And, and they say they have to do it consistent, consistently because, uh, like after having done it for an hour, you know, approaching people on the street, they're not scared anymore, but the next day they're scared again. I think the reason why is that we have deeper beliefs that have not been moved or removed yet, but we have created some um, short term um, alteration of those beliefs. And that's why we don't feel the fear anymore. So that's uh, a first example. You know, we have these beliefs that we're not able to do stuff. And yesterday I also noticed that because like I had a very long shift and after a few hours, I was completely burnt out. Like uh, my mind was like thinking, gosh, how will I do it? How will I be able to do it until I had six more hours to go? And I was like th really thinking it's, I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's insane. It's too hard, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't speak it. I just said it in my mind, but I was really pissed and I just like, I made it. And it wasn't even hard. That's the funny thing. 
So at the beginning, it's like I was I was pushing myself so much. And then when I was not scared anymore and the tension was gone. And also I surrendered to the moment because I didn't have the choice. There were customers and it's like no choice. It's just like time passed super fast. I got more energy and I, I made it. I just made it and it was easy. And so it just made me think how we just project so much in the future and we put so much energy thinking about the future and we it, it's like we we kind of um empty ourselves from our own energy with our fears and we with our useless thoughts about the future because of our beliefs and i just want to say this because these limits that we have in our minds they seem so real but they're not real at all. They're not limits. They're just like com a comfort zone, you know? But once you break, break out of that comfort zone physically, you don't even have to work on your beliefs. Just fucking do it. It's like, if you're forced to do it, it's easier because I, like, I don't even have the choice, but you, you will see that actually what your mind thinks is possible or not possible is complete bullshit. It's only mental construct that you have kind of established since a very long time based on what you have already uh, experienced. But what you've experienced is just a tiny subset of like everything you could experience in life. And you don't even know yourself. You think you do know yourself. You don't, you don't know yourself. It's not possible. If you were like in a wood, you know, by yourself and you had nothing to drink, nothing to eat and you stay there for a week, then you'd probably finally get to know yourself better and know what your limits are and who you are. But unless you're doing this, your mind is just like making this illusion for you and you think that's reality, but that's not reality. That's just, it's just like the limits of your mind. <laughs> so our minds are like crazy limiting ourselves. And that's why it's super good actually to be a little bit destabilized and, um, and be pushed out of our comfort zone. And I'm grateful that I have no choice because I really understand how hard it must be to do this intentionally because it hurts so much. So if you can, great. <laughs> Everyone can do that. Yeah. Thanks for listening.